so much for staying with me and being with me all the time. Despite all the audio dropouts for you guys who joined in later, there's an issue with my streaming software that grabs the audio stream from Cubase. And, <clears throat> and uh, unfortunately it drops the audio every minute for five seconds. So um, before we actually play through uh, the demo that I did for the library, um, there will be unfortunately one five second drop in between because longer than a, than a minute. Um, but I tried to start it. Um, so we first listen through uh, after the next drop out. Uh, so you can enjoy at least one full minute of it or 55 seconds. So um, this is the demo that I wrote for the library. I used a lot of the single articulations instead of the engine. Uh, nevertheless, uh, there are a few. And there we go. So that's the track. Um, as I've said, I've used a bunch of single articulations, uh, or at least the key switch variations. Actually, I made uh, Cubase expression maps for these guys, so that's pretty handy. Let me say, okay, just use the sustained articulation here. Uh, but for example, in the celli, uh, pizzicato, and legato. Um, so uh, I switched off all the reverbs in in the patches uh, besides the full orchestra patches and um, yeah we can just listen through a little bit on its own uh, first of all just the strings uh, so let's take a listen here So um, just a little bit of playing around with the different articulations that are available in the library. Um, let's next take a short listen to the, what the brass is doing here. So there we go. So 
So it reacts pretty good to mod. To modulation data um, although I um, added CC11 for the controlling there a uh, little bit of the woodwinds that is happening in the background So, um, I mean, the, the runs uh, are not that convincing when you listen to these exposed, but in the mix, they work pretty well, even for the limited possibility of articulation or limited in... in Uh, sounds a little bit artificial on its own. In the mix, it works pretty decent. A um, little bit of choir going on here again with uh, some uh, modulation. So using uh, CC11 and CC1 in conjunction. Um, orchestra percussion. And then underneath the whole thing uh, is another section of the orchestra. And I think I just grabbed a preset here and uh, went with it because... Because it just worked. So this is what's underneath from one of the preset patches. So there's a harp underneath that's doing a little bit of movement. And the violin, obviously. Uh, just a little bit movement underneath the uh, composition. And then we have, I think this is this guy here coming in. Yeah, exactly. Another preset, shoot, kill. And again with mod wheel controlling the dynamics. And uh, as you can see here, I dropped my strings that I used in the beginning because there was a lot of strings in this particular patch. So for example, when I bring that up and put that underneath the strings. So right before this, we have the strings that I did with the single patches. So you get the idea. It's uh, just the the movement from from that orchestra patch, and since it's all the same sound sources, it uh, it just uh, accompanies pretty well each other. So you can do just lay down a basic idea with a with an uh, arpeggio or or with a, one of the uh, orchestra patches. As, in, as a starter and then layer other stuff on top. Uh, same happened for the ending here where I dropped kind of everything besides the uh, solo flute there and a little bit of percussion and I kept going with uh, this uh, start patch that we started with and 
bring in another preset another preset from the orchestra the icy lake patch i just love that it sounds amazing and uh, just single notes here and if you combine these two they just sound gorgeous together Strange. Somehow my Twitch window shows as offline. Am I still online? Not sure right now. Kind of all the technology is messing up today with me. So <laughs> I have no chance of doing anything. Um, I hope I'm still on. Uh, so let me just refresh the page. Okay, we are online. Um, so you got a glimpse into uh, my little demo. There's not so much going on to be uh, precise. Um, uh, so you got a glimpse I just into, wanted to try uh, more or less a traditional so approach in building a template so with the single articulations and then layering the orchestra. Traditional approach in building a template with the single articulations and then the orchestra engine on top. So for now, let's just save this as a new version. The orchestra engine on top. So for now, let's just save this and as a new version. Delete it. So new track, sound is doubled. Sorry for this. Uh, so my window is back on. Uh, yeah, I had, I had the uh, speaker icon of the Twitch stream, unfortunately, <laughs> switched it on, on refreshing. So uh, yeah, stream is back. And now we have a blank template with uh, just the orchestra patches loaded up, uh, all the key switch articulation. So I didn't go with the single ones. Uh, luckily, Luckily, I just had to create one single expression map since they all use the same uh, key switching. So it works throughout all the sections, which is pretty handy. And as I've said in the beginning, I switched off all the reverbs in the patches and use my own for strings, brass, woodwinds and additional stuff and the percussion which is pretty much all the same reverb uh, again boston hall a from slate and then sent to taste from the different instruments so strings minus 11 woodwinds minus nine brass minus 11 as well and then a little bit of uh, automation on the faders and every single instance is uh, is dropped by minus 10 for proper gain staging. So that's for the setup. And now we can actually go in and see if we can come up with something. And we can either start with a single uh, patches. And I think that's uh, quite the better approach now uh, is we go with an orchestra patch and look for something that we can use as a starter and take it from there and see what we can come up with. 
Um, so let's go into the preset. into the presets here, maybe change the tempo. The demo was on 90, so let's go with uh, 116, for example. Just trying out something here. So mixed basic. So let's just jump through some of these and I like that six eighth approach there. So um, let's start with that. So we change the time signature to six eight. Okay. Um, trying out some chord progressions here. The bad thing about all these drop outs is when you don't hear anything, I don't hear anything either. So I can't even keep on working. to low. Um, actually, I think you need this to actually see which keys I'm playing. Not totally happy with the sound of the preset, so... That's pretty nice, nice, neat, nice. <laughs> okay, let's record something. Oh, just a plain, simple chord progression there. Let's hard quantize that to water notes and see what we got here. Damn it, son of a bitch! So let's check out what instruments do we actually have here. We have trumpet staccato. Uh, violin staccato, harp plucked, cello staccato, and double bass, double bass staccato. And let's put this on loop. And so.
There we go. Okay, I think I get rid of the trumpet for this patch. I don't like that one. Let's bring it down for now. Maybe we can use another uh, patch later on, but I don't think we even need it. Uh, so. And then let's bring in a little bit of an automation curve and start with a mod we are real low. So for the beginning dynamics, <sighs> That's a little bit too low. So let's start a little bit more. And going down too much there. So let's keep it a little bit like this. And this guy is going up again. And then we going up with the volume pump up the volume okay add a little bit of percussion here Let's try that on top. Actually, that was pretty nice. Nice. Let's keep that and duplicate it. Um, This is going to get interesting. <laughs> Just a little bit of improvisation on top. Let's see how that sounds. With the star, all these patches, the standard articulations. What do you mean by any? Oh. 
What do you mean by engine madness? Don't get that. Maybe let's double that with oboe, maybe? Well, the, the arms and envelope stuff is down here in this patch. I used that as a starter to come up with something. Uh, let's try to double the horns in, in the oboe. Actually, I should know what I played there. This is the problem when you just improvise on start and have no idea what you actually played. So let's do it like this. Kind of hear the the strings here on top, like uh, I could do that. Try to program that in the ARP engine, or maybe not. Um, uh, I think I'm faster doing it uh, with just playing it into my DAW. Okay, let's see how that goes. Actually, where are the chords here? First one was a little bit too loud. Okay, uh, let's see how that works if we use the engine to come up with something like that. Um, let's duplicate it and mute this guy and on this we are going to load the orchestra. Um, so let's empty these other slots. We
Okay, so arpeggiator one, we are using up, no down and up. Uh, we want 16th notes in a 6 8th bar. Well, actually, that's pretty fast. Uh, that wasn't too shabby. Uh, so let's use this one. quantize this to quarter and do a little bit more tweaking here because I think in the mixer exactly we need to raise this a little bit uh, get rid of the reverb here don't need an equalizer because I want the same violin sound that I have in the other violin going on and now suddenly we are turning from a basic R patch to the violin line there. Okay. Another thing that I mentioned in the beginning, there is no save option here to actually save this into this list, which is no problem at all, because you can just click that little icon here and say we save the snapshot. And this is um, violin arp 6 8 uh, save. Okay. Why is this? That might be because I still... That might be because I still have the better version. Uh, that might work in the final release. Uh, do you mostly use Spitfire now, I guess? Is that correct? No, that is not correct. It totally depends on what sound I'm aiming for. And l lately I've been using a lot of music assembling, which is not in the list here because it's not a contact player library. Um, anyway, uh, so saving did not work. That's okay. Then we can at least save this preset as uh, violin 8. actually 16th so okay let's do it like this and duplicate the flutes here and load I will figure out why it didn't work with the snapshot uh, this is something totally unrelated but it works to at least recall this setting. And now let's bring in da -da 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 -da, the flute staccatos. Uh, let's try this and save it just as flute six and eight. Ha! Okay, that works. So it was just a issue of a of a special character that is not allowed in the file names.
thanks for the hint there. Um, so uh, what I did is load the flute for the same art uh, for the same ARP. So what we have now is the flute combined with the violin. I could have made my life a lot easier if I just would have loaded the flute into the second slot and used the same ARP. But as I mentioned in the beginning, you can't assign these uh, mixing positions to different outputs. So unfortunately, uh, I'd rather do it that way. So I have the flute separated and have the flute uh, ARP. Let's call it flute ARP. through my uh, woodwind channel here instead of running through the string channel that will be if I add it here. So uh, let's see what we have so far. I hear a little bit of a choir there. So let's use the minute we have. that and leave a little bit of room to breathe a little bit. Okay, uh, drop. Drop out coming soon, that was. line there in the bassoons uh, let's and doing the same in the basses oh there we go fine let's bring in another one of these swells
always when it gets exciting. <laughs> Let's uh, add another layer of these moving vowels. And for the next part, let's choose a nice... No, I don't use that icy lake patch again. But let's try to find something that's a little bit uh, evolving. Uh, yeah. Have the dropouts as well on my phones. <laughs> Okay, let's start with the icy lake patch and change it a little bit. Um, so what do we have? We have violin sustain, viola pizzicato, violin pizzicato, two different arpeggiators, choir female A sustain. So let's change the choir to a little bit of brass. Uh, so first things first. And at first we need to bring it to 6th, 8th mode. So 4 bar is fine, 2 bar is fine as well. So we should be able... Okay, so kind of a quiet section there after... Every second counts in between these 55 seconds. No. 
turn on the click. here so let's delete these little buggers so uh quantize let's see what we did here <laughs> Some strange courts happening there. Okay, let's try this. that works just some random chords plastered and I like the G major there uh, as, as a change so um bad note in between not bad for not knowing what we're going to do um so so this is like that That's a nice transition there. strange here Need to get rid Problem 
this because we don't have a G in the bass here. So, uh, we are at close to 50 seconds. So after the next drop out, we can at least at least Listen complete. Um, let's uh, double that in an octave uh, with a viol. With the uh, violas, and uh, I think that might be interesting. but in the same uh, range. Went for a little bit of a harmony voice there in, in the end. So. Ba, 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 ba. So let's see how that sounds together. Let's change this to there. Sounds a little bit weird. Cello should stay there, and the viola goes up. Now, Like that. And time. 
time to bring in some uh, tremolo double basses. <laughs> So, and last but not least, a little bit of flute action there, flutey action. That's the ARP. Two more dropouts and I declare this piece finished. <laughs> Give it a boom and then we're good. Ah, damn it. I was so sorry for these dropouts. I wished I could have done something different there, but I was not able to fix it and support still hasn't gotten back to me. Oh, let's just...
there is the mic. What can you say? Life is life. So shit happens. Uh, especially when you got a lot of uh, scripting heavy contact instances, sometimes contact just decides to fuck off. Um, so what did I do here is actually uh, want to... <laughs> So wanted to have something ending chord there from the orchestra. And that sounds like rubbish. Might be because this is just no 6 8th patch. So all three arpeggiators, yeah, exactly. That's why. Could we please have 6 8th here? And I smell a dropout coming. Wonder when it's going to happen. There we were. So actually I messed up the arpeggiators here with a new setting. Um, let's do it like this and just uh, Doing some random stuff here. Let's see how that sounds. Might work. Uh, let's bring in the horn. And a little bit of trombone, we can copy that. Staccato eighth notes. And we have close to 55 seconds, so we might be able to at least hear the whole thing without a dropout if I start directly after the next dropout. Uh, yeah. I would work on it longer and, and do some more stuff, but just because of the... Uh, meanwhile, uh, I can't stand the dropouts anymore and I don't want to bother you with them anymore. So uh, we might go back to another stream uh, when the technical side is fixed. For now, uh, I stop it here. Uh, I think the overview is still there for... The overview is still there for the library and you get a glimpse on, on the patches. There's a lot of stuff you can do it. It's a great starter. It's great for, for being underway and having just a small system if you don't have a high-end laptop or whatever that you can go with. 
um it's really resource friendly and um you can get a long long way with it i personally wouldn't consider as a final tool to to get it directly uh into tv or whatever you're working for uh i still I, but that's my approach i would still prefer to substitute some stuff with uh more dedicated libraries i wouldn't say better libraries but uh, more specialized libraries like going for a particular uh staccato or pizzicato sound or whatever or dedicated string library uh with a few more articulation options but for sketching underway and even bringing it in into a final product as if it's not standing alone it's really really great and um i just keep talking till the next dropout and after that i'm going to play what we've done now uh i think uh you can spend a lot of time tweaking getting new presets done and things like that so it's a really really great tool in my opinion so here we go with the track that we just did so still audio so no dropout uh, waiting for it because it just sucks more when the dropout is happening in between listening to that what we've done there we go Okay, only cues from one drop out to another. <laughs> the future will bring only 55 second cues. Uh, so there's definitely still a bit of work to do and to, to fine tweak it. But for now, I think we're good and I don't want to bother you anymore with uh, five second drop outs. Thanks for joining tonight and uh, thanks for watching and bearing with me despite all the technical difficulties we had today. Uh, I hope to see you next time, maybe even this week, uh, if we get the technical site uh, sorted. I definitely want to do a hands-on with um, the new Ethera soundscapes that has been released last week, two weeks ago. And uh, there's a bunch of stuff to cover for the next time. And I hope I'm going to get back to more regular streams. I will talk a little bit about the stuff of my solo album that I'm doing for Dos Brains right now. We'll With the name Elements, I'm in the final stages of recording and prepping things there. And I love to talk a little bit about that album when it comes out. And uh, I'm really, really excited how it turns out. Though there are guys like Uyanga Bolt on there for vocals and uh, Cecilia Soldream and um, cello recordings and stuff like that. It's really I'm pretty proud of it and uh, looking forward to showing you more what it's doing. Thanks so much for joining today and see you next time. Enjoy your day and night. <laughs>